Hello everyone, we will continue the topic smart forms and in the previous videos, we started with command. Firstly, we understood what command is. We took the requirement based upon that requirement. We developed the driver program. We developed the smart form and in the previous video, we simply simply created the command inside the loop. And we have written the logic that at what time this command will trigger based upon what this based upon which particular condition this command will trigger and data will shift to the new page. Now I will simply or we will go for understanding in the debugging mode. So if some confusion is there how this logic is working so it will be clear. So you all know how you can debug the smartphone. You can simply put breakpoint. You can put break hyphen username or you can put the breakpoint in the function module of the smartphone because there is no red mark option here that we cannot put a breakpoint using red mark. So what I will do, suppose I will go for writing the logic. Break space, I will write my writing. I will activate this. Now I will go to the program. This is the program. In the program, we have the breakpoint. I will go for running of the program. I will put the date as the input and I will go for execute. Based upon the input, we will fetch the data from VBAK table. And we have 21 records in the internal table. It means our output will have now three pages, 10, 10, and on the last page, we have one record. Now, with the help of this function module, we will get the function module of the smartphone. This is the function module of the smartphone. And with the help of this function module, yes, we are passing that data. Now, this data we are passing to this input parameter and you all know this input parameter we declared in the smart form form interface. Form interface. Now, I will do F8. Now, I will simply put that device and I will go for print print. Now I have put the breakpoint. Have you seen? We are automatically the program stop where we have written the logic. Now, firstly, I will show you that data. Our data is in which internal table of the smartphone? This is LT underscore VPAK. So 21 records from the program now passed to the smartphone. Now we will see how, how, and parallelly, I will show you the page number also so that you can understand how page is number is increasing. The system variable for the page number is sfsy hyphen page. If you do not have the knowledge of this, no problem. In the same playlist, we have a video where I explained how you can calculate the current page number and total page number. This is the system variable. So currently we have the first page. Now I will do F6. You can see this LV underscore counter. It is zero. So now we have the counter is one. Now whenever one is divided by 10, nothing. You can see LV underscore remainder is one. It is not zero. So this flag will not set to capital X. It will display the first record. Yes, you all know from the internal table, we are passing the first record to the work area. So it will simply, simply display the first record. This is your first record. If you see in this all text, we have written the logic work area hyphen column, work area hyphen column. So it will go for the first record. Now I am doing F8 because again, this logic will come for the second record. If you see this logic, this logic we have put in the loop because ultimately it is a part of loop. Everything is a part of loop. So it will come for the second time. Now I am doing F8. 
now you can see it stopped now you can see what is the counter now counter is equal to two. page is still one now i am doing f8 now i am doing f6 you can see counter is three i am doing f8 now you can see if i will do f6 counter is four i am doing f8 now you can see counter is five i am doing f8 now you can see counter is six page is still one i am doing f8 counter is six now counter is seven but the page is still one now you can see counter is eight page is still one now you can see counter is nine but the page is still one now i am doing f8 and i will stop now i am doing f8 now you can see we have the counter nine plus one is ten now this is important part now we have nine plus one ten page is still one still one now whenever ten will be divided by ten what will be the remainder remainder will be zero now you can see whenever the remainder will be zero this if condition is true and it will set the flag to capital x now the flag is capital x it will simply simply go for the 10th record it will go for the 10th record on this particular first page now it will come on to the command because everything is in the loop yes now whenever it will come on to the command it will check is the flag is capital x yes the flag is capital x so it will simply simply go to which page it will go to the new page and our new page is itself page one now whenever i will do f8 you will be able to see the page will be two now if i will do f8 now you can see page is two now on the page two yes again it will go for 10 records now if you can see now what is the counter counter is 11 yes now we have the counter is increasing 11 12 13 14 yes it will check yes how at what time it is again now suppose if i will do f8 i will do f8 counter is 12 now counter is 13 counter is 14 counter is 15 counter is 16 17 18 90 now i will stop now you can see 19 plus 20 yes counter is 20 now we are dividing yes this lv underscore remainder 20 more 10 now if i will go for this if i will go for f6 now you can see remainder is zero yes because we are able to divide yes 20 divided by 10 yes its remainder is zero because it is completely completely divisible yes now whenever remainder is zero we are again setting the flag to capital x whenever flag will be capital x it will go to the command and it will simply go to the next page after that now i will go for f8 now we have only one record left now you can see what is the counter counter is 21 21 divided by 10 remainder is not zero so flag will not set to capital x so on the last page we have only one record so you can see we have three pages in the output on the first page we have 10 records if i will go to next page we have 10 records on to the next page and on the last page we have one record extremely useful concept based upon the real project requirements so what is the summary of this particular video in this video i explained each and everything in the debugging mode i put a breakpoint in the smart form I put a breakpoint in that driver program and I showed you also, yes, how the records are increasing, how we are getting the remainder zero. Whenever the zero is remainder, it will go to the, it will set the flag to capital X. Based upon that flag, 
this command will trigger because the condition is true. Then I showed you next page here. And on the last page, we have only, only one record. So this is the way how we can go for page trigger or how we can trigger the page based upon a certain condition. And we need to create command in that case. So that's it in this video. Thank you.